So I don't know if you know, Gator, but uh, Elon Musk has been in the news recently for... Who? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I want to know who he would be within the House of the Dragon universe. If you're going to pick him in and you go, okay, he is this guy. Like, well, he's Viserys. He's not Viserys, right? No. So who would you pick... Gator. We, we talked about this. I have three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to show you, you mine. You have, you and have then... three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to react to them a little bit. And <laughs> I do know what they are. I do know what they are. Yeah, okay. But I have not really you know, ex- expanded on it yet. So we'll, let's get involved. People listening, let us know who you think Elon would be in House of the Dragon. Maybe even say Game of Thrones if you ha- can't think of anybody in yeah. House of the Dragon he would be like. But, Just uh, somebody the in the fir- universe. And it okay. doesn't have to be one of these three. Anybody. So the first one I have up, it might be my weakest one, but I got to get it out of the way, right? He's kind of like the crab feet of his last season, right? Now, Ow. Not, not visually, right? But in the, he, he was such a pain in the butt to the establishment in the early episodes of House of the Dragon. And if anything, right now, I don't Ooh. think current the current people in the Capitol right now, or in positions of power within the whatever Western Hemisphere, yep. are enjoying the things Elon is saying right now. Similar to crab feeder. That is that is true. I just wonder. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be. This isn't a perfect parallel. You said this is your weakest one. Probably, uh-huh. I agree. But do you think? Do you think that maybe the crab feeder has some supporters in like the common folk areas of King's Landing and the rest of Westeros? Do he's got? Do you think he's got like an army, like an online army? Yeah, that's. I think there's one thing where it it breaks down. Right? There's no. nobody. There's no uh, underneath support of. Yeah, we don't need our supplies. There's step stones. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, keep your confidence in your pick, man. Defend him. I think. <laughs> I'm saying that's the weakest part if about. Crab Peter had a Twitter. Do, you don't think he'd be just do eating up that those likes? Come on, those shares, those oh, retweets, dude. dude. That, that, that's what these guy. <laughs> that's his crabs are. He's spreading the. What do you want to call? What would be instead of Twitter? It's like clamper or something like that. And he's yeah, yeah. Bring clap, his crabs clap, everywhere. That's true. Okay, well, listen, I could see it. I mean, listen, Elon might wear a mask like this, too. I could see him. He's a rich-ass dude. He could go to a masquerade. He could definitely afford a solid gold mask, too. No question about that? Yeah. Okay, well, it's my weakest pick, guys. Okay, but my next one, a little more on point there here. He's he's like Otto. He's a master manipulator when it comes to his field, right? I don't think he's, like, thinking things, like, 400 steps ahead like Otto does sometimes, right? But... This whole acquisition, his whole positioning throughout his life, you know, with Tesla and SpaceX and doing these things, mm-hmm. he's now in this great position of holding the 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 town square, right? The internet town square. And uh, this is very similar to Otto. In this it sense. is. It is. And they both have massive foreheads. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Five oh, yeah. Head, five you heads. You might be able yeah. to say. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, again, you know, these are my boys. This is These are my people. So I think you're 100% right about him being – I don't want to say manipulative, but definitely thinking some steps ahead. He's probably one or two pegs higher in terms of intelligence than when he, whenever he's in the room with people. You know, you never really know what he's thinking. But I do think Elon recently has been much more willing to speak his mind no matter what the consequences oh, yeah. are or, you know, whatever. And I mean, for the most part, he handles himself very well. It's not like some other people in the news recently who say whatever they want. Like Elon usually makes 100% sense. And I'm actually glad he says everything he says. Otto, I think, though, is more conniving, and I think he's much more self-interested. And, you know, you say what you want about billionaires. I don't know if Elon Musk is as self-interested as somebody like Otto is, but this is definitely a better pick than the crab feeder. I was trying to throw you a bone with the crab feeder. I was trying to devil's advocate your own uh-huh. self-doubt. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm Team Otto for this. It's pretty team good. Team Otto who, for this? Yeah. Who's your well, third? also, we, we get Otto saying, for the good of the realm, he's making all these positions, uh, yes. changes for, you know, Aegon to be the heir. Same way with uh, Elon right now. That's if you believe him or not, but Elon at least is saying he wants to help, um, I don't know, make it free speech online and not yeah, have the yeah. dissent from authoritative uh, places that aren't aren't transparent about the how they're cracking down on people. So that's I, 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 do, I do believe it, by the way. I do think in, both, in terms of both, by the way, too. Like, there's no doubt Otto's self-interested, like I said, but I don't think that any of his decisions really have hurt the realm in favor of, his own family coming to prominence because even Aegon, okay, like Aegon is a wild card king, or he will be. I can only assume, or at least just a piece of shit king, right? Like he's not going to yeah. know how to govern correctly. But Otto only put him there, knowing that he's going to be the hand. You know, right. like Otto's yep. in charge. It's very much like a Tywin Joffrey scenario. The personality types aren't exactly the same, but the dynamics very similar. So I think in that way, yeah, you're right. It's for the for the good of the many or whatever. I'll do what I got to do. All right. So my last one. 
for pick for uh, Elon. And I don't know if you agree with this at all, but uh, as a man, come on, a you put that D in the like front. This? Maybe I would uh, feel a little bit better about if it was. You, hold on, you think Damon. he's closer to Damon than he is to Amon? I think maybe a little bit because what does Amon do? He's just kind of like a little shit bag in a way. Like he's he's like Damon, uh, but not a... interesting. Well, he's way more duty bound and focused on that aspect of his life. I mean, Elon is you know runs all these organizations. Yes, that's that's duty bound in some way, right? It and, is. Uh, Amon here is focused on what needs to be done. And he, un, I wouldn't say, un, what would you say? Very similar. Uh, Elon purchased Twitter. He did. Now has the greatest social media site, probably the biggest impact, right? Oh, here we go. And Eamon uh, yeah. acquired the biggest dragon in all of Westeros currently. <laughs> yeah, so, that's true. I, come on. And it disenfranchised a family of color by doing so, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just like Elon disenfranchised how many people of color by purchasing Twitter, the free speech oh, there you go. goes runs rampant. Now, listen, I think, I think, okay, I hear that. I hear that point, and it's a decent point. But I just think in terms of their archetypes and their personalities, Amon is more so like uh, he's more of a beta because he is very duty-bound, but he, like, knows his place, and he doesn't really seem to have any aspirations of rising greater. He's like, I want to be the best in the role that I'm assigned. Like, I'm going to do the best job I can in the role I was given, not – climb the ladder not like take over things uh, like the renegade that i am that's more damon style you're right that elon's not as much of a wild card as damon but i think in terms of like drive and you know rising to a be a better version of yourself no see that's more aimed again i can't think of the exact way i want to describe it but elon musk man he's just going around conquering wherever he wants i just don't see aimed doing that without permission from uh you know well, his granddaddy well he definitely took out uh, little luke now he's at the bottom he of the... Uh, accidentally, and he felt bad about see. it, dude. Elon would dip his Elon musky nuts right over Luke's body. Th He'd be proud of that. What we're seeing Eamon do right now is a classic uh, Elon tweet right here. To these strong boys. <laughs> That's true. You know? It's very passive-aggressive, and it gets the point across, and everybody's, like, based. So, yeah, okay. I You're, you're turning well, me on a little bit to it, but well, I, still think, eh, I still think Otto's the better pick. Okay, well, what would you think is the best pick for just Otto as Elon? Of these three, yeah, for sure. Definitely yeah. Otto. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Damon little beats little Otto. Here. No. Yeah, there we go. Right right corner, right corner. Check mate. Yeah, and, and similar to our, uh, if you haven't seen it, we did a Kanye video about this as well. Um, it's hard to pick exactly one. Some of them are way uh, further away from Elon in attributes, like you say, the crab king, but uh, the crab feeder. I'm just trying to figure out who, if I could just do a little Venn diagram, if I could circle, move them around where Elon would be, and I, I think these three are pretty good. I don't yeah, know if I mean, they're, they're not to him. I would Damon? choose Damon over the crab fe <laughs> over the crab feeder, but I do understand also we can't put Damon in every single video. Come on, like he's, yeah, everybody on. everybody wants to see everybody including themselves let's, in Damon. Let's do a video of who uh, Don me uh, whom I like from House of Dragon. <laughs> Damon, oh, Damon, Damon, Damon. <laughs> we wish, we wish. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let us know you th what you think of our choices here on Elon possibly being House of the Dragon. Which character is he most like? Let us know if there's a better option or from the Game of Thrones universe of the uh, series, which one he is most like. Smash that like button like you know, uh, like what? Like the crab feeder smashes all those crabs up his ass so he has a anus surprise attack or something i think so and maybe that's like uh maybe that's a grayscale suppressant so that he doesn't like you know get oh. his own army sick because we know damon went in that cave came out holding the crab feeder making physical contact no grayscale whatsoever so there has to be some kind of extra factor in there and maybe it's some kind of chemical in a crab's body that when it comes in contact with your colon it suppresses grayscale uh spreading all right well let's know subscribe uh, to our content or subscribe to our content. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Just and ring do that it, bell. Just do it and share this video out. Like you know, you share everyone else's videos out when they ask you to on the internet. So, <laughs> all right, thank you.